Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to troubleshoot and monitor different services in Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, 2012 R2. To be specific, we'll, we'll be looking at the history of Microsoft Dynamics integration and other services. Uh, and uh, we will be looking at documents related options. We'll be looking at queue manager. We'll be looking at exceptions. Uh, exception contains information and error messages related to the uh, flow of uh, documentation or any integration that happens within Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. So what we're going to do in order to do that, we're going to go in uh, in server where um, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 is installed. We're going to fire up client and we're going to go in system administration uh, view and then we will look at different options. So here's my uh, server and I have a client already fired up and uh, up here uh, system administration view if you don't have system administration view you can click on here and go to system administration view as soon as uh, you will get the sysadmin view you will see all these options on the left pane up here um, uh, common inquiries reports uh, periodic and setup so um, the history and uh, queue manager and exceptions are in uh, periodic so you need to expand the periodic and you will see that uh, up here uh, there are uh, uh, different options uh, uh, related to the periodic what we wanted to look at is services and application integration framework so we're going to expand that as you can see we have a queue manager history and exception if you wanted to look at the history related to services and, uh, and application integration framework you need to click on history so we're going to go ahead and click on history this will show all messages my environment is just a demo environment so I don't have much of a history here so uh, once you go in your organization and your um, Microsoft Dynamics AX is live you will see a lot more messages here if you wanted to look at uh, document related messages you need to click on here and click on documents it'll show you uh, um, all the documents related uh, general and you click on uh, uh, detail you can look at uh, you can select that particular um, message up here and you can click on uh, uh, detail the other option is that if you wanted to look at specifically the logs of uh, documents uh, something has um, you know you wanted to look into the detail of the logs you can click on documents log and it'll show you everything in the log uh, all the documents flows from uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX or to Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 uh, it is in the form of XML uh, when you click on uh, um, documents logs it goes back in database and retrieve all that information for you uh, if that information is already in cache it'll be rather quick but uh, if it's not in the cache and you restarted the services then it's gonna take a little bit of time depends that how much and how big the log is and same with clear documentation XML log this is a bit important if you uh, look at that clear all versions clear uh, interim versions uh, it uh, whenever it communicates in um, with the external or internal Microsoft dynamic M Microsoft Dynamics AX it does with XML format so if you clear all the versions uh, it will make the database uh, table size much smaller uh, once you have gone through and you figured out what was the uh, issue and um, uh, the versions all the documents that's received or sent to uh, from Microsoft Dynamics AX you can clear that log and it'll make uh, uh, that table size a little smaller and you can also go ahead and clear the documents history if um, um, you have looked at everything that you wanted to you can go ahead and clear that so this was the history related uh, troubleshooting and messages um, as far as uh, uh, this video concerns so we're gonna next we're gonna uh, look at is queue manager what whenever uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX integrate uh, with the external or internal environment and documentations or anything that uh, integrate in integration related uh, things happen they go in queue uh, most of the uh, work in Microsoft Dynamics AX happen with the batches um, so there are batches running um, everything that you do and the batch service runs and complete that uh, particular task so in order to do that if you have submitted a, a lot of um, um, a lot of queries or you're doing a lot of uh, tasks they will all be in uh, queue manager 
you will see that uh, it it uh, uh, it takes from the queue and then it process the uh, particular queue and once the queue is done then it uh, just uh, put it in queue uh, um, uh, log and you can look at that so that is a uh, queue related if you wanted to look at the general information if you wanted to filter some of the detail you can you can go and look at it right now I don't have anything in the queue that's why it's not giving me options but in your environment it's going to give you option if you wanted to look at the particular user related queue that what has happened if let's say that there there were um, there is a user who is saying that I have submitted something and it's uh, I haven't received the confirmation and all that you can come here at queue manager and look at that particular user and see what is the issue what's holding uh, it so um, that's a uh, queue related any errors uh, or information related to uh, services and application integration you can look in exceptions if you click on exceptions you will see um, what I have done on Microsoft Dynamics AX in this uh, um, in this demo it'll be all up here um, exception type if there would be error it would be error and if there is just the information then uh, it would be information you can click on particular and uh, particular uh, information or error and see the detail of that particular error so um, that's that's how you look at um, again you can look at general information as well in terms of uh, uh, users or um, uh, where you see the error uh, what user that uh, it's related to and all kind of good information this is just the walkthrough that how you look at uh, uh, and troubleshoot uh, different uh, um, different services in Microsoft Dynamics AX and all integrated services related and integration uh, uh, framework so all AIF uh, related work you can uh, look at in this particular view I just wanted to show you I just, the, the whole purpose of this video is that uh, uh, right now I don't have much information as uh, this is demo environment again so uh, in your live environment you will have a lot more detail and you can come here and look at what exactly is the issue and what is the information what Microsoft Dynamics AX has done it in terms of that particular service or integration framework so um, that's it I hope uh, it helps